everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from int5d.com and body, mind, soul, spirit.com. And I want to welcome everybody to my most recent edition of N5D Afterthoughts. And this is what I do after um, my live videos. I put stuff out there that, you know, sometimes when, when you do a, a live video, there's things that you forget or don't remember to say and there's things that come up afterwards um, like in the comments that um, need to be brought up so this is what I do and uh, what I'm going to be doing too is I'll be covering the 15 upgrade symptoms and for my patreon people after that I'll be doing my unofficial wall of shame <laughs> so bear with me Got beach hair going on today. I went to the beach to ground. I did my walk of gratitude and my love bubble meditation. I think I did that on the last video, or it might have been the video beforehand, to give you guys an idea of what I do on my walk of gratitude. And uh, like I said, you know, you can check it out on in 5D. It's a beautiful thing because you're you're using basically ho'oponopono which is the Hawaiian code of forgiveness and uh, you know, it's you know, I'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you so you put that all out there and the way I do it on the love bubble meditation or excuse me on the walk of gratitude is I just basically thank creator source universe spirit guides guardian angels friends and family on both sides of the veil galactic neighbors and friends higher self and mother earth and then I go through all the things I'm sorry about please forgive me <laughs> thank you I love you so and I've always encouraged people to change it you know if you want to you know include God or Jesus in there go for it you know make it yours own it okay myself you know that's the way I do it and uh, it seems to be working pretty well you know with the full moon energies right now I'm sensing a lot of crown chakra activity and I don't know if you guys are too but you know this is one of the things that you know afterthoughts <laughs> about some of the things that we were experiencing and uh, yeah my crown chakra is just like lit up right now it feels great so what I want to do is just um, mention also that on July 7th, I'll be raffling this off on Patreon. This is my eForce. There it is. Titanium Flower of Life pendant. So anyone that um, joins me on Patreon with a minimal donation of a teller 11 will be entered. And everybody that had joined up until that point is already entered so um, it's a beautiful item it sells for $175 on their website and right now I think I've got 44 patrons so thank you um, for joining up with N5D Patreon and uh, infinite love and gratitude to all of you so yeah that the website I'll leave a link below for Patreon and um, Ultimately, what my goal is, is to get rid of all the corporate ads on N5D, and that's why I'm starting up this Patreon account. So, to everyone that's joined, thank you. What else did I want to cover? In regard to the video that I made um, that covered Rosie Neal's article, afterwards I was looking at the comments on the N5D YouTube channel and there were so many people that are going through these 15 DNA upgrades that we mentioned and uh, a lot of people were saying that they started feeling those energies also around 420 wait 420 why does that sound familiar maybe that's why people were really tired <laughs> myself I don't partake but I was still feeling the energies um, around that time as well. Here's some of the comments. Tracy Evolution of Self 
Moore said, Hi Greg, question for you. I watched a few videos where it said not to ground in this 3D Earth and maybe ground toward the 5D. Your thoughts? Well, while we're here, and this is just my opinion, but while we're here on Mother Earth who invited us to be here, to incarnate on her, she is the host for our uh, being here, and I, I've always grounded to Mother Earth. I always feel literally in touch with the planet, the Earth, Gaia, when I'm walking barefooted. And maybe that's one of the reasons why I live in Florida, so you know I can walk barefooted all the time. But yeah, I do. But you know what? Grounding to 5D Earth, I think, sets the intention of what it is you want. So I think that's a wonderful idea, too. Go within. What is it that you are hearing from yourself? And do that. Um, as for myself, you know, I, I ground to the planet. Some people, you know, they'll send their light all the way down to the core and have it come back and flow out through their root chakra or crown chakra from their root chakra um, other people just simply get out in nature and appreciate and get uh, absorb and clear their mind um, out there so whatever it is that you feel you know a lot of people are going to put it out there you know, do this or don't do that you know just go within you already have the answers okay I know that was kind of a vague answer but um, to each their own. There's no right or wrong, I think, way of, of doing that. If, if you're going to, if you're gonna ground, either way is fantastic, okay? So I don't think there's a wrong answer there. So Elena M said, for a few weeks now, in my peripheral vision, I've been seeing rainbows in other colors, but when I look directly, I don't see it only in my periphery. Is this such a thing? Anyone else seeing this? I haven't seen it. I think that's really cool that you are though. And um, I'd be curious to know if anyone else is seeing that. So I'm putting it out there for Elena. Is anyone else catching that? Now for myself, I catch, I'll see entities in my peripheral vision. I know they're there, I can see them, but you know, you turn your head and they're gone. So. It's quite possible that other people are doing this. I, I know that once you put it out there, there's things that I've said before that I'm thinking there's no way in heck that anyone's experienced this. But like when I told you guys the story about how I lost this when I was just sitting up, it fell on my lap and there's no way for it to fall through this little hole that's in here. But uh, so I put it out there and then one of the comments on the video was somebody else had the same thing happen to them with the same pendant. So I'm putting it out there about catching all those um, in, in your peripheral vision, rainbows and other, other colors. Are you guys seeing that? If so, comment. And uh, number three from Dawn Marie Parrish. Uh, she said, wow, was hit about the same. Major energies, vertigo, weird sounds, and feelings like a train was coming through. Wow, wow, wow. And that was exactly what Rosie said, like the, the roar of a train coming through or the feeling like the, you know, the energy or the pressure of a train coming through. So it was really cool that Rosie used that analogy as well as Don Marie. And uh, lastly, I have a comment from Morning Glory Rose. And she says, hi, Greg, I've been going in and out of dimensions for a long time. I didn't know what it was before. I've had missing time. On Tuesday morning, I was driving on the expressway to my job. I was there for 15 or 20 minutes on the expressway. All of a sudden, I came back. Wow, I was discombobulated. I was at my exit. My concern was I missed it. I didn't know how long I was gone. I'm not positive where I go when she's in that state of mind. I know I feel it's 5D Earth, and I never remember where I've been. That's so cool. Um, a lot of people do feel like they're literally going in and out of dimensions. 
and uh, what you're experiencing. I think a lot of us have had similar kind of experiences, especially when we're driving. You get in the car and then the next thing you know, you're there and you're like, where did that time go, you know? But to feel that you were on 5D Earth while you were there, I love it. I love hearing stuff like that. So if any of you guys have had that kind of experience too, comment. <laughs> My, my sister, Lola, she passed away in 2011. But uh, one time she was driving to East Sydney Dam with her boyfriend, David, and their friend, Patty. Maybe they were driving home. It was either to or from, it doesn't really matter. But the next thing they know, their car is on the side of the road and they're missing five hours of time. And they all came to it at the same time. So it's always been, you know, when my, my sister was alive, she, it was always in her mind that she was abducted and I suggested to her, go have hypnotherapy, see if it, it happened. And she never did that, but oh, I'm pretty sure that's what happened, so. Oh, and talking about the love of, gra uh, the walk of gratitude. Allison Six Costello said, that's a powerful message of gratitude. I felt the love energies as you said it. Thank you, Allison. So, you know, that's, that's where, that's where my walk of gratitude is. You know, that's, I try to get out to the beach as often as possible. Like uh, today, I forced myself to go to the beach. Otherwise, I would have worked 15 plus hours and I brought my guitar with me and I did my little walk of gratitude and love bubble meditation. So it's just so refreshing to go there and how you feel afterwards is just amazing when you have that ability to ground in nature. And it doesn't have to be at the beach. It could be out in a snowy field. It could be in a park. It could be at a lake. You know, whatever, where, whatever and wherever you are, as long as you get out in nature and do it, you know, you make that connection with Mother Earth. And of course, if you're in a snowy field, you're not going to be barefooted, but don't worry about that. Just get out and ground and make that connection to nature. It's really important. Okay. So, overall, there was a lot of confirmation on what Rosie... Um, wrote about in her article and that what you know and what I talked about on my last video about the 15 upgrade symptoms that we're all experiencing so it was really fun to cover that topic and to read all of your comments that you had whether it was on the YouTube uh, in 5d YouTube channel or on my Facebook page um, and I do look at all the comments too I wish I could respond to everyone, but gosh, you have no idea how many emails and private messages I get, and it's, it's not easy doing what I do. Trust me, it's easy to fill up a 15-hour day working. You have no idea how much work goes into it. So what I want to cover next is my unofficial wall of shame. Now, I'm not going to make it official. I'm not going to put it out there and tell the world, you know, be aware of this person or that website or whatever. You know, that's, that's not my style, but I do feel an obligation to at least tell some people, at least unofficially, these are the ones that are on my wall of shame. Uh, so I'm going to leave it off at that right now for my YouTubers. Um, the rest will be covered on my N5D Patreon page. Um, so if you subscribe, you'll hear the wall of shame <laughs> finalists. So I just want to say uh, namaste to all of my YouTube followers. Thank you so much. Uh, sending you all infinite love and gratitude.